guys. So before I take uh, the Asus back, I wanted to do a, a quick comparison side by side of this Asus ROG Zephyrus M15 versus the, the Dell um, G Series G515, um, I think is it? Specific model, I think it's the 5500. And um, same specifications really, as far as CPU, RAM, and GPU, and SSD go. Obviously slightly different brands for like the SSD, but the same Intel i7-10750 um, and the same 2070 Max-Q video card. So one thing I've noticed is the, the uh, laptop height for the Dell is higher. Let me put these side by side here as best as I can. So you can see the height is a little bit higher here, maybe quarter inch. Um, edge of this might bug you but it doesn't feel honestly much different than this. Um, personally, I think the keyboard on the Dell is a little bit better. Seems to be a little less sticky. One other thing I should mention is that the touchpad on the, the Dell is to the left, spaced over basically the keyboard section, whereas um, the keyboard here is, or the touchpad's in the center. The other thing is on the Dell, it actually has a 10 key, which honestly, I didn't even think about that. I don't really like the 10 key personally. Like my keyboards on my desktop don't have them. So, um, so keep that in mind, the touchpad there is a 10 key. Uh, Screen-wise, it would say the screens are comparable to each other. Um, but what I wanted to show you right now is I've got two different games running. They're probably pretty similar in graphics and CPU requirements. And so um, I can see, you can see up here I've got MSI Afterburner running. And so this is Far Cry 5, and this is the CPU temp, GPU temp usage and the frame rate that I'm getting currently. Um, obviously, I'm not doing anything in the game. I just stand there like that. And then this is Apex in training mode. Um, you can see the frames per second there, and you can also see the GPU and the CPU temp. So um, what I did find was interesting was if I move the mouse, the megahertz changes. So it must be a variable type thing that's going on depending on what's on the screen. Um, I do think that the CPU temps are pretty similar and GPU temps are pretty similar between the two devices. So obviously they're going to fluctuate a little bit, but I do see quite frequently, frequently the upper 180s for CPU on temp Fahrenheit. And then the GPU on this one seems to run a little bit cooler, but then again, it's not quite the same game. So, and I can't run this game twice because it just doesn't let me, Steam won't let me use the uh, account on two different computers at the same time. So you can see the temp here again, it's pretty hot. Actually, I think overall it, it feels like maybe the ACES runs a little bit warmer than um, the Dell does. And maybe it's just because the ACES is a tighter, tighter uh, case and so it doesn't really have um, the same amount of airflow. So the airflow on the, on the Dell actually, in my opinion, flows better. The airflow flows backwards like this out the back vents. And then the airflow on the ASUS actually flows out the side right here. And so this air gets hot on your hand when your mouse is there versus this doesn't have any airflow so it doesn't heat your hand up. So to me, that's a big deal. If your hand's next, like with the mouse right next to it, you will definitely feel the uh, temperature come out of this, or excuse me, out of this ASUS versus the temperature coming out the side or the back on the, on the Dell. So airflow, in my opinion, on the Dell is a little bit better because it doesn't heat your hands up. One thing I did want to show you was is Asus, I mean, this, this gets really hot back here, like really hot when games are running. And so what I wanted to show you was, I have a little temperature gun, and there's a little laser, and you can see the temp on the back there. That's literally shooting at where the speakers are. So at the hottest points, we're seeing like 125 degrees, on the, almost 126 on the surface of the laptop. It's pretty hot, right? Um, let's check the keys. The keys are a little bit cooler. But even some of the keys, like, look at that. So I'm aiming at the Y key, 120 degrees on the Y key. I mean, that's like, your hands eventually feel that. Obviously you don't use Y as much, so let's look at the ASDWs. Um, decent temps around this general area. Anywhere from 90 to 100, depending on how far you go over. Um, where your palm will be is pretty cool because I don't think anything really happens down there. And so that's on the ASUS. Now let's go over to the Dell and do the same thing. So the Dell, shooting at the ASDW keys. Um, pretty similar in temp, maybe a little bit hotter actually, 110. 
And let's go to the Y key, 115. Let's go up here to the top, 120, 124. Same type of temp numbers. These laptops get quite hot. And then here's the airflow out the side, or the back rather, 134 degrees on the airflow out the back. So that's like the bottom section, right? The airflow is blowing out here. It hits the, hits the uh, screen a little bit as it exits, and that's why you're seeing that 135 out the back. Let's go over to the ASUS really quick. And you can see, I'm not seeing quite the same horrendous temps out the side here, which is kind of interesting, right? Um, these, are, these are hot, man, that's really warm. 141, holy smokes, that must be where the, maybe the video card blows out that side? 140 degrees, wow. So both of them have um, pretty exceptional temps. I mean, 131 degrees on the, 132 on the surface of the laptop. And you can, we're getting the temperatures that are uncomfortable when you touch them, like I said in the previous video. So um, one last thing I did want to show you really quick, and I hope, I hope I can record it on this. I know the microphone has to be good enough on this phone to be able to pick it up, but the speakers on the ASUS are significantly better than the speakers on the Dell. So, um, so let's just give this a try. I'll have to test in my headphones later to see what it sounds like. This is some techno from one of my favorite DJs, and let's just listen really quick and see if you can pick up the audio differences between the two. So this is going to be the Dell one first, and it sounds a little bit tinny. So here we go. America, we deserve a president. Okay. I wasn't hoping for an ad right out of the gate. Skip the ad. Now I'm going to go over here to this laptop, and this is the Asus now. I'm going to try to play the same thing and see if it sounds different on the recording. Way bay. More commercials. Okay, here we go. we got to turn the speakers on. So definitely more depth on the bass. It actually has a bass, whereas the other one does not. I don't know if it's picking that up on this microphone, but... Significantly different sound, like definitely more dynamic. If you want to be able to play speakers, the ASUS is on your laptop, the ASUS is a way better choice. If you're just using headphones, obviously it doesn't really matter. But I mean, the speakers on the ASUS are actually amazing, in my opinion. So, especially for the tight compartment that they sit in. So, um, so I think that's all I'm going to do for this particular video. I just wanted to show you the temp differences between the two, sitting side by side. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.